Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Selena, and today we're going to talk about um, plants and vegetables and fruit and stuff like that, like seeds. So, I went to two places pretty much, and the first place I went to was Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had like, because no. It's getting close to, you know, garden season. And I, last year, I have a video of it, of my garden last year. But this year, I wanted to try to do a little bit better on my garden. So, I tried to, you know, I did researches and stuff like that. And I... Also, been going to like Walmart and Dollar Tree and uh, Dollar General because sometimes they have it there too. And so, first thing I found was these little plant labels, which I thought was a cute idea because last year when I did them, I did them with um, the little, it's like popsicle sticks, but they were like the jumbo kind. And I also did that because I plant them in the ground, which is a bad, it was a bad idea. Some people can and not have a problem with it. But with the kind of dirt I have in my yard was not helping as much. So this year I'm going to have to put more, um, dirt in it and stuff like that like get it from where because it, it's like a sandy type of um kind of dirt so it has a little sand in it and sand is not that good for your plants because when the sun is beaten down it will like dry the ground up faster than having just regular you know dirt and ha like having that good dirt so I'm going to show you what I got and also I'm going to put in a, um, a clip, a picture of, uh, the greenhouse I'm getting, which will be pretty soon. And then I'm going to get like a fence, um, it's kind of like a chicken coop, which I do want to get chickens eventually, but I'm going to wait on that. I don't know, because I do want to get chickens, but I want to make sure that I have, um, I have the fence stuff for it. I have um, somewhere they can get in and also make sure like, Predators can't get to them and stuff like that. Because I would hate for them uh, to get hurt or anything like that. So I do want to get chickens. So that would probably be my next thing to do. Which I'd be excited. And that will be another uh, thing on my channel is some chickens. Wait, and then they'll lay eggs and all that stuff and we'll clean out the coop. We'll clean out the coop and stuff like that. So if you want to see that. Also, I want to get like, um, which will come to it. I want to get like, I got, I'll show you in a minute what I do have. But I also want to get like bird feeders and uh, stuff like squirrel feeders and and stuff like that that you know I can keep um I could keep my garden you know pretty much without having problems with like squirrels birds and and bunnies because last year no ma'am no ma'am I literally had some of my seeds didn't even come up because the fact Birds were eating the seeds out of the ground. The squirrels were digging the uh, seeds up out of the ground and they were 
just having a feast with the seed. So I was like, this year, I'm making sure that I have everything planned out for the animals because I don't care to feed the animals. I love animals and I want them to, you know, have something to snack on to and them not having to, you know, always have to find stuff to eat. Yes, I know that they can do that, but I'd rather to them stay out of my garden so that I can grow stuff. And I, I do share my stuff with them. I do. Um, and I always research if they can have it, if they can't have it. But they love my blackberries. And that's the main thing that they'll go for if there's nothing else. Which, uh, the year before last year, I, I allowed them to, you know, have the blackberries. If they wanted to eat them, they could eat them. I didn't care. Well, last year, um, they still got to them, even though my garden was like where the blackberries were at. Cause I had a fence around it. Cause I had to, because of the squirrels and, and the um, bunnies and stuff like that were getting into it. And they're, I couldn't keep the birds out of it. I would have had to put a top over the top of it. But this year, I'm going to get a greenhouse so that I can uh, grow my seeds inside of the greenhouse because inside my house, I cannot do that with two cats at all because when you have two cats, they love plants and they want to eat them. They destroy them. And that's one thing I can't have like real plants. I have like fake plants, but then they start chewing on these too. So and another thing I want to do is also grow stuff that my cats can eat, which is like um, catnip and then cat grass. I want to do that for them. So, um, yes, we're going to have a lot of fun uh, doing a garden this year. Uh, I spent a lot of time on my garden last year. And this year, I'm definitely going to be spending more time on it because I will have a greenhouse and I can, you know, plant stuff all year long and yeah and it, it was, it's just gonna be a, a great time and I'm gonna love you know showing y'all my progress of my greenhouse and and y'all can come along of me you know building it and stuff like that hopefully I can build it myself but if I can't I'll have uh, either my brother come along and help me or I'll have um, my son's dad to come along and help me to build it. But we'll get it up for sure. If I have to do it myself, I'll do it. I'm not going to um, wait on anybody because I never do. I always do it myself. Like I'll build furniture like beds and stuff like that on my own when sometimes it takes two to do it. But anyways... Let's get to, on to this video and show you exactly what I got. So if you are into gardening and you want to, all you, uh, all you, I mean, you can go and get stuff for cheap. You don't have to go spend a lot of money on like certain things because, you know, you go to Walmart, you're going to spend, you know, a dollar, a dollar and forty. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly how much. That one doesn't say. But there's one in here that I got from $2 on a pack of seeds. Some of them are more, more than $2, almost $3. Well, and it's only one pack. But at uh, Dollar Tree, if you hit them up before... Um, like springtime, like right around, um, I, th I think I got mine around February, the beginning of February. They had them out like at the end of January to get them ready, get ready for like the, the springtime. And so that's exactly what I did because I knew if I didn't get the seeds, I wouldn't get them as cheap. So Dollar Tree is a good place to go. And also, Dollar General has, uh, you know, some that are like, I, I want to say there's like either it was three. Yeah, I think it's three to a 
three of them for a dollar. I want to say that it is three for a dollar. So um, it was that. I mean, that's still a good good uh, deal. But they don't have as much as like you know they have both. They have flowers and uh, vegetables. And if you're into if you're into like flowers, great. That'd be a great place for you to go to get get them. But if you're into like um, both of them, like flowers, fruits, and vegetables, you can also get them at Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree is like the first place I go to to get like some of my garden stuff. So the first thing that I got was it came in a 10 pack, but there are little uh, plant labels that you can put so that you know which plant they are but as they grow you you exactly know what they are it, unless there's some that that look alike then you you know you wouldn't know but that's one the reason why i got these so that when i plant them out in the greenhouse i'll be able to have them and so yeah so the first seeds i got because I love cucumbers. I've always loved cucumbers. When um, I was eight years old, um, that's all I would eat. When I had my surgery, and well, I almost died on that, on when I had the surgery. Before I had the surgery, I almost died. So, yeah. And this is the only thing that I would eat while I was in the hospital for two months. But I got cucumbers and they're the pickled cucumbers. So basically, I'm going to use these and I'm going to make pickles when they grow. The second thing I got was some onions and they're the Texas onions. And it says easy to grow. So we're going to see if they are. And I use onions a lot when I cook. So, onions, because I put onions and broccoli, you know, together, and I put, like, um, garlic and stuff like that in, in my broccoli. So, the next thing is broccoli. And broccoli, you know, it only grows around a certain type of uh, the year. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, only grow, like, you know, in the colder temperatures which I'm gonna do that one I'm gonna grow these more to the like start them in August so by the time the cool weather comes they'll you know they'll do their thing so last year watermelon was doing okay wasn't doing that great but with the having sandy dirt it wasn't, you know, what they're, they needed because they do need water and the water was getting uh, soaked up, dried up real fast. And then not only that, if that sun is cooking the, you know, like heating up the dirt and stuff, it doesn't work. But since it has a sandy dirt, they wasn't they were growing but they weren't growing like they were inside i busted open up two of them and they were red and one of them uh i was able to eat because it was fully um like finished it was done it was done growing but it just didn't get like how big it was supposed to get because of the dirt that uh is in my yard so and it got about about that big when they're normally supposed to you know get like you know pretty pretty good size like would you get at a grocery store or no it ain't like the big big ones but i got the uh sugar baby which most people would call them like the ice box uh watermelon that's what i grew up calling them but i got these watermelon. 
And then I wanted, because I didn't try this last year or the onions I didn't try last year. Um, but I also wanted to do some green beans. I want to try that, see if I can get them to go in, which I, I think I will. My bell peppers, the, they did not do good because one, the birds and stuff were eating the seeds. So they didn't come up at all. So yeah, I got them. I got like the Grand Bell mix. So it's the sweet peppers. Which I'm excited about that. And then I got cilantro. You can't never nope. You can't go wrong with having cilantro as a herb. And then I got cantaloupe. And last year, my cantaloupe did not show up at all. Like I said, birds, all that, were eating them. And then I got some more cucumbers for me to, you know, just eat. Don't have to uh, make pickles out of them. And then I got cabbage because we like cabbage. Got cabbage. And this one, you have to do like March and in June, around March and June, which I will do. I got some strawberries I'm going to grow, which I have a plan for that one. And then I got these um, onions that the, what my grandpa would grow in his garden. He would grow them behind the chicken coop where um, behind the chicken coop where his garden started. So he would have his chicken coop face, facing this way and then his garden was behind it. So, um, they were on the back wall of that, of the building. So I remember him doing that. And then I got a different type of watermelon. I'm excited. I'm hoping that we can get some decent sized watermelon this year. I also got large red cherry tomatoes. I love tomatoes with my cucumbers with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm excited about that. And then I got okra, which I'm excited about that because I like okra. I like it fried. I like them pickled, which that's what I really want to try is get doing them myself. And then I got some carrots. Can't go wrong with carrots. And then I got corn. Corn. And so, and my son, he wanted to do a sunflower this year. So we're going to plant sunflowers for the bees. And the seeds can go towards, you know, the, the birds, the squirrels, whoever wants to eat them. And then I also got this wild uh, flower blend for birds and butterflies, which I'm excited about that, seeing birds and butterflies. So we're going to see how that goes. And this was only a, a dollar. So we're going to grow them flowers and these flowers. And then all these seeds that we got. Um, and like I said, it was four for a dollar. I'm going to show you a, a picture of them later on. But like the okra I got for a dollar ninety two plus tax. So... And then this watermelon was $1.44. So you just got to just got to look around and see what, you know, is the best and go from there. But a lot of these I got from the Dollar Tree. Like I got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13 and 14. I got 14 of them from just uh, the Dollar Tree. Which is pretty good, pretty good for me. But yeah. I like them. I'm excited, y'all. I really am. And then, also at the Dollar Tree, I am excited about this. Because I think this is what I'm going to do my strawberries in. But it's a little 3 2 like that right there. And then you can, like, put them on each other and stack them. So I got, like, 10 of these, I think. One, two. Yeah, I got 10 of them. So the you know they'll stack and then I can grow my I can grow my strawberries in this or whatever I decide to grow in them. But I'm mainly thinking about strawberries. But yeah, a a dollar twenty-five for this right here. And these sell out so fast. And last year I didn't I wasn't able to get them. So this year I made sure that I paid attention to that. So I did get that. But I'm going to let y'all go. And that's it for this video. Like, share, and comment. And join the family. And I will see y'all later. And like I always say, stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.